Morning. Um, it's happy to have a presentation here. Actually, it's just this just the work of Mr. Fung Kwok Kin and me. However, he is not able to be here. So if you find that you have question, would like to ask him. Uh, there is an email address <laughs> on the booklet. You can find him. Okay, and I will try my best to to introduce his ideas here. Yeah, uh, the the title changed a little bit. Uh, the exploration of the local impact on the urban renewal. Yeah. Uh, different from the original abstract. Yeah. Um, we were first uh, defining the, the liberalism, uh, since uh, nowadays many people like to talk about the liberal, the liberal, the liberal, all the people, uh, all the social workers in the field of urban renewal and housing policy would like to say, oh, yes, it's the new liberal housing policy. So we would like to, to uh, define it first. And uh, then we'll go to the, uh, talk about the diversity of the neoliberal modes and the significance of the local factors, how the local factors affect the formulation of the policy. Then we will uh, study about uh, the ASID model. We will use this as a framework to, uh, to, to, to uh, examine the, the, the process of policy changes. And then we will introduce the, uh, the redevelopment in Hong Kong. Uh, because uh, this is my, uh, my, my work, I, I work day to day to the people affected by the urban renewal project. And uh, we will uh, try to have the initial analysis. Uh, actually, this is uh, the, the, the outcome of our first stage work. Uh, we will, uh, after this presentation, uh, we hope to uh, get um, more insights from you all and fruitful to our, make our study more fruitful. And we will have a conclusion. Yes. Uh, Many people nowadays would like to say that uh, liberalism uh, is a uh, fundamentalist uh, a market uh, regulation. Uh, they would like uh, the, uh, like to uh, uh, preserve the, the the interests of the strong, but uh, uh, neglect the poor. Uh, Moody say that uh, it, it uh, is um, uh, economic fundamentalism. Uh, uh, think that market is the most uh, effective mechanism to, 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 to uh, redistribute resources. Um, and, and, the, and the globalized, uh, many people today say like globalization, uh, uh, hom homogenized uh, social policy to a more neoliberal form. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, we, we find that uh, many, many scholars claim that the uh, neoliberal this change uh, led by the crisis uh, from the eight, at the end of 80s. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, in our study, uh, the, changes, the changes of urban renewal policy are also led by the crisis in the urban area of Hong Kong. Um, but uh, when we say about the liberal, all people think uh, it is the same form of the liberal. However, uh, many scholars tell us that it is not the, the picture. Uh, there are lots of the liberal form. Uh, uh, maybe uh, different uh, places have their different scale of uh, policy change. Uh, different factors uh, would have their effect uh, in the process. So. Yeah, so uh, in this research, uh, we adopt the, the point from a lot of from different scholars who would like to find out the local effect on the policy changes, how the local factors affect the policy to be the liberal form. Yeah. Um, what factors and how it change? So uh, we adopt the ASID approach from the Bob Deacon. Uh, it's, uh, A stands for uh, agency, S stands for structure, uh, I institution, and D discourse. Um, he he claimed uh, this is the multilateralism. Um, 
different. Uh, we, we should uh, fo uh, focus on uh, different areas in order to uh, study to find out the uh, the changes and the the, the uh, in different area. The agency is uh, means uh, the the human behavior, the meaningful human behavior in the uh, individual or collective that makes the significant difference in neutral or social worlds. Structure means the social realities of uh, the 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 system that uh, just like uh, we will uh, introduce the the, the urban renewal authority is a structure. Uh, the law is the structure, right? Uh, and the institution is the socialized structure, like a uh, closure, uh, uh, some pattern already uh, we, we we follow. But uh, actually, it is uh, lock like it, it does not like structure that cannot be changed. But uh, every people every day uh, perform in the same pattern. And the discourse is the uh, discourse, yes, the the uh, the intersubjective production of meaning. Yeah, we uh, use the case study approach to 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 conduct this uh, research. We we uh, chose the the urban renewal strat strategy review <coughs> because this is a special case. Why is it special? Is uh, the consultation of this review last has last had lasted for two years. Actually, it is very long in Hong Kong. You know, uh, in recently the uh, the housing policy, uh, the consultation of the long-term housing policy, which aim at uh, uh, consultate the housing policies for the future ten years, years just last for three months. And a uh, few days before uh, the consultation on the political reform, uh, the method of the uh, election on chief executive and the legislative councillor has just last for five months. However, the urban renewal strategy, uh, the consultation has last for two years. So it is, uh, we think it is a very special one. Uh, it's a special case that we can find out something uh, in, in the process to study uh, why, what, what factors affect uh, the policy change. Uh, another uh, thing uh, is uh, the government has appointed a research team and a, a consultation consultancy to conduct a lot of research, uh, nearly eight research, I remember, uh, within two years, uh, and a lot of uh, session to consult, to consult the people. And uh, the, the government officers, uh, the steering committee, and uh, some uh, board member of the Urban Renewal Authority uh, had their trip to different cities that I will mention later to, to adopt the the policy of the overseas cities. So uh, I think uh, we think this is an important case uh, that uh, we, we should study. Uh, we use the secondary data analysis to, 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 to uh, find out different resources to study. Uh, and most of the data uh, can be found in the uh, website of URS Review, uh, which is uh, very good. And, and the legislative council. Oh, then uh, we talk. Uh, we will go to to know about the situation in Hong Kong, the urban renewal, uh, the the uh, land development cooperation uh, is the first agency that the government uh, set up to to conduct urban renewal in uh, 1988. Uh, this is because uh, before 1988, the government claimed that there. Uh, to, there, uh, there are no effective mechanism to the renewal, uh, uh, lack of uh, uh, public redevelopment authority, net of commitment from government, and uh, net of system to do it. But uh, with a serious problem of urban decay, so uh, uh, they set up the uh, LDC. Um, before the setup of LDC, uh, all of the uh, the renewal were run in small scale. Uh, and take long long time because uh, they do not have uh, resources and authority to 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 have land resumption. However, the uh, LDC uh, was criticized as uh, they always offer the inadequate purchasing price to the landlord because uh, 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 people ask for uh, uh, a price that they can uh, purchase a new a uh, 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 um, uh, uh, more new apartment. Uh, at, in the uh, area near the original places, uh, people always say uh, the after the LDC uh, launched the project, then uh, the prices of the 
of the apartment and in the area near will uh, raise for a lot so uh, they cannot purchase a new one and uh, the LDC like a bulldozer to uh, erase all the uh, community history uh, community network and uh, and make um, uh, uh, and, uh, cause the gentrification so uh, in the 2001 uh, the new body URA uh, was set up uh, to to uh, to to uh, conduct urban renewal for the government and yeah, um, Lo Chi Kwon from uh, and his team from Hong Kong U, uh, uh, the, the research from them find that uh, actually URA, the URA uh, is not basically uh, much different from the LDC because uh, uh, although uh, in the years of LDC, uh, people claim uh, LDC took long time to to conduct renewal. However, uh, actually URA did the same. Even they reform. So. Uh, 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 but the different thing is uh, URA uh, puts if, uh, more time to consult the, uh, in the consultation process to, to uh, let the public to voice a bit more. So uh, they sign uh, it may be the cause to last to, to, uh, to, to make the renewal process a bit longer. Uh, to compare with the, uh, her, uh, although uh, the URA uh, formed uh, aimed at fast uh, make the renewal process a bit faster, however, uh, to compare with the the plan that in 2001 that the government made, uh, the government hoped to redevelop 2,000 buildings in 20 years. It means 100 buildings a year. However, uh, the URA cannot fulfill this task. Uh, they uh, at 2010 URA has redeveloped uh, only more than uh, 500, but not not uh, 100 a year. So uh, it's just uh, quite a big difference from the target that the government set in 2001. Yeah. Actually, in the, uh, the initial stage of URA, uh, many scholars already claim that, that uh, URA is just all white in no bottle, uh, because uh, they guess URA will do the same like LDC, like the Budosa, to, to erase all the old community. Uh, low level of community particip participation harm the interests of individual owners, uh, uh, rendered in the business uh, model. Because uh, the URA need to run, uh, they, they do not have, uh, they just have uh, a lump sum uh, uh, from the government in the 2001. After that, they need to, uh, uh, they need to run the project in their own money. They, so uh, they need to run in the business model to sustain their agency. Uh, people claim people critique that uh, it is actually a, a public developer in the old urban area. Uh, in the mid of uh, 2000s, uh, uh, there is a paradigm shift in Hong Kong, and in the afternoon there is a, a presentation about the Li Tong's uh, the Blue House in Wan Chai. Actually, uh, uh, this years Hong Kong uh, the the value and. Uh, what people think is uh, quite different from 10 years before. Uh, our community start to talk more about uh, preservation, the heritage preservation, or uh, yesterday, Jackie say uh, the collective memory. So uh, many people start to uh, crit critique the URA. And there are pop song, uh, uh, Reading, Reading Car Street, uh, the, the nickname of Lee Tong Street. Uh, there is a pop song to, to say about our, uh, the, the old things uh, the balance between the old things and the new things. Uh, it, it raised a lot of concern from, the Hong Kong, from Hong Kong. And the removal of the Star Ferry Pier and the Queen's Pier also draw the attention of the public. In uh, 2008, uh, the URA, the, URA, uh, the Bureau uh, uh, started, started the uh, reveal on the URS. The photo is uh, uh, a moment, uh, 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 we think, uh, a moment that uh, uh, draw the attention of a lot of Hong Kong people to to think about renewal because uh, the whole building collapsed in 2010. Uh, I remember this because we were in a con consultation meeting uh, with the in the Hong Kong Social Service Council, and suddenly we find uh, from the uh, mobile phone see the news. We 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 thought uh, just, just just kidding, right? Collapse, gonna uh, it will really collapse. And uh, some people died. I, I forget the, fig the figure of the 
people suffer from this, but it really uh, raised the concern of the community to, to, uh, to support the, the renewal. Um, uh, in the, during the uh, consultation, uh, actually many uh, parties made some proposal to, uh, to ask the government should support the bottom-up renewal. Uh, say, for example, the professional commons proposed to uh, uh, the government should uh, support to set up some uh, redevelopment cooperatives uh, to, to allow the local people to join together to initiate their renewal project. And uh, different parties also uh, did the same. And actually, uh, in Nitong Street uh, H H15, uh, the concern group uh, was made the, pro uh, made the proposal to the government, the whole proposal of the renewal project. Uh, so uh, during the consultation, a lot of opinions about uh, at the bottom-up renewal, uh, landlords, the owner's participation. Yeah, and, and uh, many people also uh, claim that uh, tenants should be protected because uh, after 2004, the July of 2004, all the uh, restriction on the tenancy and rent in Hong Kong erased. Uh, it means that uh, even the landlords would like to redevelop the building, they do not need to pay any compensation to the tenants. So uh, when URA start their project, uh, they will pay the uh, compensation to the tenants. They always say that, oh, we do more than the ordinance demand us. Uh, you see how good I am. But uh, it, it is the situation. Uh, during the consultation, many people claim, oh, the government should rethink, uh, we should uh, restrict on the tenancy. Actually, the team, the research team appointed by the uh, uh, government uh, from the Hong University of Hong Kong uh, uh, to study the overseas experience from uh, Taiwan, Singapore, Japan, Korea, Shanghai, and Guangzhou, uh, 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 find that uh, tenants always suffer from the renewal project, even in the uh, overseas cities. Uh, claim that uh, some protection should uh, should be. Uh, should be made to them. And uh, it also points out uh, uh, clearly the difficulties of the uh, landlord and tenants faced in uh, different countries, different cities. Uh, what I hi why I highlight it, I will, I will tell you why. Uh, in in the, uh, the research, you find that uh, the compulsory neural project in private market can be converted with Two third of owners, de on, uh, two third of owners agree. When two third of owners uh, agree that uh, in Taiwan, Japan, and Korea, uh, peop uh, the the uh, the compulsory development project, redevelopment project can start, but uh, it need to set up a redevelopment association. Uh, in the association, there are landlords, uh, government representative, and uh, and. Uh, Developers, they need to uh, handle the the different interests in this association. This is what the uh, research team find. Um, and also, they find that uh, in Singapore, uh, uh, if a building built for ten years or longer, uh, and only eighty percent of owners' agreement is needed for the start of compulsory sale. If, um, in this report, uh, the research team said uh, to compare it with the cities in Eastern Asia, Hong Kong uh, origin, the original fee so of Hong Kong is 90 percent of the, the owners agree uh, is a little bit high, and uh, which uh, may uh, uh, create trouble to the private developers, cannot attract them to redevelop the old urban area. But the report also mentioned that most of the citizens live in the public housing. Provided private market in uh, provided by uh, government and the private market in the Singapore is a bit different from Hong Kong. The research also find that. Certainly, in uh, 2009, I I I uh, emphasize it certainly because uh, I experienced the process. All of the people feel it is so sudden. Why certainly there is an idea that we never heard. Uh, the government uh, announced to lowering the fees hold of the compulsory resale from 90% to 80%. And that, that's three kind of uh, situation. It, it claimed that uh, because it wanted to facilitate the private sector to, uh, to initiate a redevelopment project in Hong Kong. 
After two years of two years of consultation, uh, there is a new URS uh, to respond to the 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 demand of uh, owners' participation. There are uh, uh, three new policy, and uh, we will go into details of two of them. Uh, first of them is the development net DB development project. Uh, if uh, one single building or one landlord, uh, there are in one single building or landlord, if there are not less than sixty-seven percent of the undivided undivided share in that lot, then uh, it can uh, ask URA to come to redevelop their building, redevelop their their site. Uh, why I underline is is we actually do not know why it is 67%. Then we find find a document and find, oh, it is the overseas experience, oh, yeah, two-thirds, yeah. Uh, then if, if, uh, if uh, after they apply, uh, then uh, the URA will select a suitable case. When they select, they will give them, a, they will offer them a price. This is a conditional offer. Uh, if people do not accept the pie within 90 days, then the project will turn down. Yeah. So this is uh, the the new policy in the uh, the uh, big change in the urban urban renewal claim. The offices in urban renewal for the which is a big change. Another one is the facilitating service. Uh, if there are fifty percent of the owners, uh, they agree to apply, then they can uh, ask uh, the URA to help them to. Uh, uh, to 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 organize them to uh, pick the uh, to to sell their building to, uh, in the market. Uh, service charge uh, they, uh, the landlords need to pay the service charge if uh, they successfully uh, sell their building. Yes, uh, from two o one o two o one two there have been eight redevelopment projects announced by RA. Five of them are develop, the demand net redevelopment project. So it is quite a, a large portion uh, after the, 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 the change of the policy. And uh, the facilitating, the, the amount of uh, the case, the success case in the facilitating service is a bit uh, different. Uh, only one case success in uh, the, the November this year. In, uh, this is the building, three buildings is sold uh, at to 242 million, lots of money. And uh, after the change of the, the requirement on the compulsory sale, uh, it speed up the development process in the old urban area. It increased the incentive of developers to speed up the development process. We can see the figure. Uh, before lowering the, 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 the fees hole, just uh, 21 cases from 1998 to 2010. However, after that, we can see uh, in the most terrible situation is in 2012, the uh, 57 cases. It destroyed the community network, erased the community history. Uh, actually, you can think, uh, you can imagine, if a landlord, a group of landlord would like to apply for the project, then they, they group themselves and uh, fill the form and hand them to submit to URA. However, uh, if URA do not accept the application, what will they do in the next step? They will find the, find the developers, the private developers. So uh, this is the story we, 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 we find in the old urban, old urban area is uh, many Landlords start to plan to have their redevelopment uh, under the existing uh, 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 law. The ordinance do not uh, do not have provide any protection to the tenants. Uh, many tenants face a really difficult situation. Uh, the, the landlord always like to evict them to to, to terminate the tenancy and uh, raise the rent in a, a you know very. Uh, Frequent situation and with high uh, high price. Okay, wow. Well, then we go to uh, this is uh, this is very funny. Uh, uh, the demand net project uh, you can uh, uh, the demand net project uh, as I said uh, the URA will offer a conditional offer to the landlord. However, not all the landlord will receive this conditional offer. 
what will happen, uh, this is the case, uh, this is not the landlord, this is the chairman of the URA. In uh, 2001, uh, 2002, uh, this is a Christmas miracle, he named this guy name. Because uh, originally, uh, one of the landlords do, did not accept the conditional offer and make the percentage lower than 80%. Then the chairman, Chair, uh, Barry Chan, uh, in the media said, oh, uh, one, uh, we, we need one more landlord to accept uh, our plan. I, I hope he can uh, uh, consider clearly. Uh, then people ask, oh, why you disclose the, the information? He said, oh, I, I did not. I did not tell you his name and the address. I just tell you this is the situation. Then the neighbor, the neighbor of the, the, the shop, actually the shop, not here. The, the neighbor uh, uh, forced or just uh, talked to the to the that landlord, and the landlord said uh, to uh, tell the media, told the media that uh, he felt great pleasure, and eventually he he decided to accept the conditional offer. So uh, under this uh, new policy, uh, the individual the interest of individual landlord uh, may be harmed because uh, they need to. Uh, they need to, uh, they, they will have, they will face the pleasure from the uh, group. Uh, the, in the conventional mode of uh, the URA, uh, the, the urban renewal, actually URA uh, initiate the direct redevelopment process. Uh, is uh, it, also, it actually get the list of community and the community network uh, uh, like a bulldozer. Uh, so many people crit criticize it. However, under the new governance mode, uh, the URA uh, give the power to the landlord to initiate the project. Only initiate. However, uh, it, uh, the project also run in the uh, public partnership, uh, uh, public private partnership model. It's still like the old things actually, but with a better image of URA. Actually, this is a photo that uh, people uh, request the URA come to redevelop his building. Yeah, this is a banner to to say of uh, come to redevelop and ask the carbon so that uh, force the URA. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is tell about uh, actually uh, the building uh, the, the 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 building project create a lot of job opportunities for the for Hong Kong people and the government actually admit that uh, uh, renewal is a critical part to the employment rate. So uh, they like to promote more jobs after the two thousand and eight the financial crisis. Yeah, the old model. Uh, I'll go to the our uh, ASID approach. Uh, uh, for this course, we think uh, uh, actually uh, most of Hong Kong people do think that uh, we need a speedy de development uh, uh, because the urban decay, uh, the collapse, of course, the collapse of the building, and recently the in land insufficient uh, because uh, uh, there are no more new land for the new building in the old urban area. So the government say we need to conduct more demand net projects in the old urban area. However, it actually erased the community, which actually uh, uh, do not uh, care about the interests of the tenants and some individual landlord. And, uh, the institution constraint is uh, actually got, uh, the URA didn't change a lot. It still conduct renewal in the old forms. Actually, uh, run in a business model to a pro market model, but just uh, with a better image. And in Hong Kong, it just uh, also promote the pro ownership uh, ethos because um, many Hong Kong people like to buy a one buy one apartment. Actually, uh, many people live in the old urban area. Would like to say, oh, uh, it, uh, it is, uh, it is the uh, only true things you buy one because you will always uh, evicted. If not, you will be always evicted. So uh, even tenants, uh, they they would not think about uh, how to uh, improve the terms of tenancy, but would like to save money to buy one. But how, uh, however, the the price can allow them to do so. Uh, uh, the is idea approach uh, show the uh, complex multilateralism of the local factors. Actually, uh, uh, we may have some time to share with you or a little bit more, a bit more. Uh, uh, show the con constraint and the opportunities. Actually, uh, after the uh, new uh, in the U New York as the 
the landlord has the the landlord has the chance to initiate project. It is a change, but it changed to a particular model that uh, that that, that uh, uh, as same as the old model. So uh, we think uh, it is the opportunities uh, that uh, we can keep to uh, voice to increase the uh, landlord's participation. However, uh, the existing institution uh, does. Existing structure does not allow us to do so. So, uh, in the coming days, uh, the opportunity is uh, we may need to uh, focus on how to create a new structure or how to create this course uh, or uh, the agency of the different uh, parties to uh, affect the setup of the new structure or change the existing structure. <coughs> Yes, uh, this is our first stage of findings. Uh, we will need to uh, process uh, more data and, and um, make it more consolidated. Uh, so uh, uh, please uh, feel free to comment on us. Thank you very much. Territory control where the LDA was uh, LDC was con uh, working with individual buildings and the URA was working with say an entire street uh, uh, as part of urban renewal. Uh, so you have multiple properties. Uh, because the reason why I'm asking this is that um, uh, where you showed that sudden jump to 57 projects happening, you know, in 2012, I think. Uh, I was just wondering because uh, what happens in, in parts of India, okay. especially Bombay, uh, when you pick up a larger territory, you uh, destabilize um, the sort of, to put it bluntly, the kind of psychology of people who are living over there. And therefore, the uh, shift in consent of from, say, 90% to 80% to 60%, because you have destabilized them, then they're more likely to say yes. Whereas in the individual building, uh, there would have been more resistance to uh, to the process. So uh, uh, you mean the, how the people to uh, see the lowering the fees so, uh, yeah. from ninety percent to yeah, like if all of these rooms are okay. being designated for urban renewal, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then me sitting here is I'm more likely to agree to the change terms mm -hmm. than if it was only uh, you know Tammy coming and wanting to move me out. Mm -hmm. But then I would say no and probably all of you would save me yeah. from her. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, okay. me, you know, it's a bit like what I think A.R. Wiseman writes in uh, how the Israelis moved into Gaza in this article The Art of War where they destabilized the process so that then it's you create you 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 kind of create a barrier. Uh, 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 group, uh, uh, the ninety percent to eighty percent. Uh, uh, you mean uh, one? Uh, maybe one of the landlord uh, may may affect the whole situation, right? Yeah. Uh, like actually, we think in this model. Uh, I I so uh, we see it is the uh, opportunities because it creates some a little bit more uh, chance for the landlord to initiate the de redevelopment, yes. but. Uh, is still run in the old model. It means the landlord do not have any uh, space, any capacity to negotiate with the government uh, because uh, that is the conditional offer and only one offer. So uh, the, the landlord cannot refuse to accept because if he refuses, he will turn down all the things. Uh, we think uh, the, the, if, if we really care about the, the, the wills of landlord, we should provide a capacity like uh, uh, that research claim uh, in Japan, in, in Taiwan, in Korea. Uh, there should be some agency uh, created by different parties to negotiate, to deal about their interests, to balance uh, each part of them. Because uh, we understand that it is a long process. Uh, the, the redevelopment should be the long process because a lot of interest inside. So uh, if we only focus on speedy, uh, oh, oh, for one, only to be fast, uh, it will only get the needs of different groups of people. Eventually, who will be the worst is the the one with 
uh, least power. power. So the, the individual landlord, if they cannot organize with other landlords, they suffer. If the tenants, uh, they do not protected by the law, they will suffer. So we think uh, we need to make it a bit faster. However, we should have mechanism to protect the right of each party if they need. Have you investigated, because you have the model of the, how to approach the whole thing, right? Um, you also mentioned about um, the URS, Urban Video Strategy mm -hmm. Consultation, and also the, also the research group of by the Hong Kong University yeah. employed by the government on um, what, what the URA should do in the future or yeah. also the current situation. And have you also investigated how much the power of the um, of the consultation result and the research group of by the Hong Kong University affect the current mode of model. The question is how how this kind of the result being used by the government yeah. or ULA and then you know to affect what we see nowadays. Yeah. You point the most important part uh, in this first stage findings. We find that uh, as you, what you say uh, how, how uh, in the change, the, the process of policy policy change, which is the role of those research uh, from the secondary data secondary data analysis, we find that uh, it seems that there are some correlation. But in the coming future, we need to uh, we, we what we do in the second stage is to to uh, as you said uh, to investigate uh, to to have uh, some. Uh, Data collection from the steering committee and the peop uh, and the people in the board, maybe if they can, uh, they can have interview with us. No, my question is, this is my personal interest um, yeah, yeah. to know, and because I know Hong Kong University um, and used the overseas um, mm -mm 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 -mm. to comment on the situation of Hong Kong, hey, yeah. and but how much of the result being used eventually? By mm -hmm. the government or by ULA, uh, you, have you found that? From from the secondary data analysis, we just we, we searched uh, the leaks and the policy papers and some uh, meetings, the record of the meetings. Actually, we uh, the two third and the sixty seven percent, the the sixty seven percent and the uh, the lowering the fees hold from eighty from ninety percent to eighty percent, uh, is after the the uh, the research the 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 initial finding of the research team. However, uh, is, this is uh, a, a, a causal relation. We cannot tell this situation, but we find that uh, from the uh, minutes of the steering committee, uh, the, the, the committee find oh, it is meaningful and uh, we should uh, uh, adopt some ideas. So uh, uh, we, we, we find uh, there may be some, some uh, Inferences, but uh, at this stage uh, we can not really tell uh, what is how uh, uh, how what is the exact inference on the policy change. One, one more question. Yeah. Uh, you know, because in the South Korean high period of decades, the extra legal coercive violent, like physical violent aspect was an important part of pushing through the big projects with the, the renewal association that the owner residents formed with the construction companies and the government. So I'm, I've always been very interested in how that sort of absolute space physical confrontation of physical violence over territory is still necessarily involved to execute really huge scale changes. And so I wonder in the Hong Kong case, do you also have this kind of so-called service companies with, uh, I mean, I guess I'm interested in if you look at the social injustice yes. progression, a kind of comparative study of the eviction bodies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in Hong Kong, as uh, we, we uh, we we do not have a, a, a research on the numbers of uh, company like what you said. Uh, there, the most most uh, the, the most kind of company we can see in the old urban district is the developers, and uh, companies work for the developers. They just uh, purchase the, the the apartments to collect to exact a percentage eighty percent, then uh, 
sell it to the developers to 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 start the process. So uh, in Hong Kong, uh, uh, the existing existing institution uh, does not really can uh, allow uh, uh, the the association in Korea, Japan, or Taiwan happen. So uh, maybe we from this opportunities when we can have chance to increase the participation of the owners, we in the next step uh, maybe the, for, the the direction is to how to uh, to advocate for another kind of institution and structure to allow uh, uh, another kind of redevelopment happen. I think. Uh, uh, the, you are the affiliation with the social welfare department. Uh, no, no, no. I, I am from NGO. Uh, well, from NGO? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, that's uh, the, what the role of the welfare sections uh, in, in this kind of redevelopment? Uh, actually, uh, social welfare department in Hong Kong does not think that that's there right. is welfare needs of the renewal district. but. Uh, uh, there are still some social workers who work there because uh, uh, in 2000, uh, year 2000, uh, in the, when the OURS formulated, uh, the legislative, legislative council and the people keep to say uh, the resources of the grassroots people is uh, much more or less than the uh, URA. So there should be some social worker to serve for the interests of the grassroots. So the role of the social workers is to provide information, uh, to organize uh, community education, uh, sometimes to advocate for their right. Yes, this is our role in the old urban area, the team. Yeah. But I would say it creates a conflict, right? And create a conflict. Yeah, because we widen the division of, of, of opinion because the social worker intervene into the result. Uh, actually, uh, uh, the conflict exists without our intervention. Uh, we just hope to uh, 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 we, we tell the rights of each each parties. Actually, uh, say for example, uh, what can and what should landlord do under the ordinance and uh, the 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 rationale of revenue euro and what should uh, what is the right of the tenants. Um, we we hope to uh, mobilize the residents to join the the process of consultation to voice their needs because if they do not voice, uh, then uh, the old things still happen and their rights uh, will not be sensed by anybody. So uh, we hope to voice because we think uh, this is the only method to handle the, 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 the multiple interests in the old urban area. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much.